I'm Gordon Miller, and I just competed in a half Ironman. And I'm Jordan Alumi, and I just competed in a half Ironman as well. Half Ironman is a tough race. It's a total of 70.3 miles. It's a long ways, five and a half hours. What made me want to do a half Ironman for the first one was just to see if I could do it, but um, now the reason why I do them is because it's kind of something beyond myself. For me, when I'm training uh, for the half Ironman, it's, it's a lot of time with just God and I, and I find that He shows up in some pretty incredible ways um, when I'm just spending time with Him on the bike or the run or even during the swim. The Ironman training is completely different than anything I've ever trained for. I think my biggest training week this year, I hit a total of 175 miles. And when you're hitting miles like that, you, there's a lot of time where you're just by yourself. And I'm at the point where I have to just call on the name of God. And I think that's a great spot to be in, to train daily at that point, to practice just wasting all of your energy and then having to turn to God for strength. And He always provides. Jordan and I never trained together, like we never went on a bike ride together and we never went on a run together. I mean, I wouldn't have kept up with him on the run. I wouldn't have kept up <laughs> on him on the bike, really, so we just slow each other down. But the camaraderie of training for the same event and just all the conversations in between training um, felt like we were training together the whole time. I mean, there's so many conversations that we had just in between, like, how did your ride go? And yeah, I rode 60 today. Oh man, I ran you know, X miles today, how did that feel, and how are you doing, and, and just all the conversations in between, you know, it felt like we were training alongside each other even though we, we never ran or swam or biked together until the day of the race, so. The community at the Ironman events, the people are just really awesome. I mean, there's a couple of people, you know, that when you pass them, they'll, they'll call, they'll see your bib name, and they'll say, good job, Jordan, keep it up, keep pounding the run, or, on the bike they'll say keep spinning it out every time you pass someone or someone passes you it just seems like everybody's got a word of encouragement to give you and that really just gets you going me and gordon bonded a lot you know and uh it was a great time that we spent together up in michigan and i really just felt like from this whole entire trip we're in this together you know um even if we're racing at different so uh, times and paces we're in this together this race was so much like life, you know? Gordon started before me, and I never saw him the whole race. We had completely different races, you know, completely different journeys. There was different parts where he was struggling, and there was different parts where I was struggling. There was parts he was doing better, and parts I was doing better. And we were on completely different races, but we finished at the same place. Literally, I was about a half a mile from the finish line. All of a sudden, I hear this voice behind me go, Gordon! <laughs> and I was like, no way. Like, I said to Jordan, I'm like, I said, man, this is the pace that I'm at. I can't go any faster. I'm not gonna go any slower. I'm just holding it steady right here so I can just finish. And I said, go ahead. You know, if you need to, if you need to kick it in right now, go for it. And he's like, he's like, no. He said, no, we're going to finish this together. We're going to cross that line together. Then we kind of sprinted at the end, and uh, we both crossed the, the line together. I feel like with the last straightaway at the Ironman, God painted the perfect picture of how it's going to be like in heaven. You know, every single person at the Ironman event is just cheering their butts off. You know, families of 1,500 people, and you just hear screaming, and I could pick out our family members holding signs and cheering Gordon and Jordan, you know, and uh, I think that's how it's going to be like in heaven, you know. We, we went through this long journey and it was completely painful, but here we are at the finish line. 